Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Here's Allen. Finding Knox there, complete. They have a head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the 9. Here we go, first and goal. Throwing Allen. Going right back to Knox, and again a complete pair will come at the 38-yard line. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew a little more time off the clock. They'll run with Hall. And now off to the races down the right side. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about to to run the football and chew a little more time off the clock. They'll run with Hall. And now off to the races down the right side. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to Cleveland Brown Stadium on the shores of Lake Erie. Today we've got a fun AFC matchup on tap as it'll be the New York Jets taking on the Cleveland Browns. Greg Zerline now, he'll handle the honors to get us started. And off we go from Cleveland. And this taken in at the goal line. And the line to gain, a one yard pickup leads to fourth down. As a defense, you're more bound when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Feeling like they're not quite in field goal range yet. They're going to go for it on four. To throw, it's Rodgers. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. And now this is in Njoku. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off, okay? So they gave up the completion, but I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication, and as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating, there he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Now that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over, that type of a speech, I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. And he'll get four there, down to about the 12-yard line. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Now Rodgers throwing on second down. Touchdown, Jets! Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Brings up second and 12. At the 43 yard line. Thompson Robinson. Looking for Cooper and it's intercepted. And the return here is stopped at the 35 yard line. That time defensively looked like they showed quite a bit of pressure, but backed off and it proved fruitful. They get the pick. He went through all of his rules about getting rid of the ball quickly because he read blitz. Third and long coming up defensively. You pressure the quarterback or drape all over the passing lane? Yes, that's exactly what you do. It's both because they're not mutually exclusive. They may have been at one time in football, but not anymore. You want to have that pressure. If you have a big time pass rusher. Oh, look at this. It's intercepted. Free. And he brings this one before crossing over out of bounds. Well, that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball. And let's go. He's got his offense moving. Oh, no. He lost the football. And it's scooped up by the Jets. 